Hi, I'm Kevin Cork, and I'm the Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences. Welcome to Go for the Gold. We're thrilled to have you here today. As the parent of three college graduates, I can appreciate what you parents are struggling with, some of the questions that you have. Let me give you all some advice on how to think about the college tour, the college experience. And it harkens back to a movie that I'm guessing many of you have seen dozens of times, the movie Toy Story. I could almost recite it word for word. But in that story, our hero, Woody, is a character that's from a time gone by. He's Andy's favorite toy, but then Andy gets a new toy, Buzz Lightyear, to infinity and beyond. Buzz does all kinds of amazing things, has a laser light, and all of a sudden, Woody becomes the second class toy, the fallen behind, the left in the box toy. How, what's that have to do with college? Well, Buzz was wonderful as long as he was programmed to do a specific thing and the thing needed from him was a specific thing. But you'll remember in the movie, along came Sid, the next door neighbor, who Buzz was not programmed to deal with. And he captured Buzz and was tormenting Buzz. How did Woody respond? Woody responded with critical thinking by getting a diverse group of toys together. You remember Mr. Potato Head, T-Rex, Little Bo Peep, brought them together and capitalized on their talents and skills because he recognized how to bring a group together. It was in the face of that novel situation that Woody's true value came through and Buzz's limitations came through. Now, obviously, life is more complicated than a children's movie. But the key takeaway there is there are fundamental skills that carry us into novel situations. And we've certainly had our share of novel situations over the last few months. Those skills like creativity, like teamwork, being able to bring people together. One of the things that happens if you fast forward to the end of Toy Story 3, Andy is giving Woody away to a little girl named Bonnie as Andy prepares to go to college. And one of the things he says is, he's loyal and brave like a good cowboy should be. But one of the things about Woody is, he will never give up on you. He'll always be there for you. That's a college education. That's the value of a college education. So as you hear about the various majors in the College of Arts and Sciences, what I'd encourage you to focus on are what are the skills that are lifelong skills that will carry you through in your role as a citizen in the community, as a member of your church's advisory board or a nonprofit, as well as in the workplace. Because an arts and sciences degree not only prepares you for that first job, it prepares you for the last job and every job in between. So I'll just tell you one last thing. We have partnered with Career Services to match the skills that students learn in classes with the skills that employers are looking for and help our students to articulate what those skills are that they're learning. Articulate them in resumes. Articulate them in job interviews. And build on them as they move into the workforce. This is a great time to be a college student. It's a great time to be an arts and sciences student. Please be good students today as you hear about other majors, and good luck in the search. Thanks. Whether pursuing a major or minor, or even just taking courses in the College of Arts and Sciences, you are developing essential skills that are highly valued at both the workplace and graduate school. Our FLAGS program helps you understand and connect these essential skills. Let's learn more. The FLAG program is extremely beneficial. As an employer, we can train on technical skills, but we find it difficult to train on transferable skills because those are skills that you learn through experiences. What's nice about the FLAG program is students are capturing those skills that they've learned through the educational experience 
and then applying them to the workplace. The skills and knowledge that you gain throughout your college career extend far beyond those obtained in the classroom. The ability to articulate these strengths during graduate school or employment interviews can make all the difference. The CAS Advantage incorporates flags, fundamental learning outcomes, achievements, and goals as a means to capture the progression of your transferable skills. It allows you to capture and reflect on your experiences and knowledge during your undergraduate experience in order to effectively articulate them on resumes and in interviews. The flags are divided into eight categories. Innovation, creativity and technology, critical thinking and problem solving, communication and listening, diversity and inclusion, career management, teamwork and collaboration, professionalism, work ethic and integrity, and leadership. The FLAGS program prepared me to demonstrate the value of my undergraduate experiences with future graduate schools and employers. Hello and welcome to Oakland University. My name is Jeff Carl and I'm an admissions advisor with undergraduate admissions. We are excited that you have chosen to attend our Go for the Gold program. As a quick reminder, there is a Q&A chat function on this webinar. You may notice two chat boxes. Please only place your questions in the Q&A box so all of the moderators can see them. If your questions don't get answered right away, we may be saving them for the panel later in the presentation. I would like to start off by telling you a little bit about Oakland's history, academic programs, and campus life in addition to admissions and scholarship information. Oakland University was founded in 1957 thanks to a $2 million donation by Alfred and Matilda Wilson. We are a young university which is exciting because there is constant room for growth. OU is home to over 19,000 students, with more than 3,000 of which who live on campus. OU has more than 120,000 alumni worldwide. Nearly 75% of OU alumni live in Michigan. Oakland University has a beautiful campus of 1,443 acres and is home to Meadowbrook Hall, one of Michigan's National Historic Landmarks, also, all of our academic buildings are centrally located on campus for ease of access. Our campus is surrounded by entertainment venues such as Meadowbrook Amphitheater right here on campus, which has hosted big name artists like Nick Jonas, Steve Aoki, Kendrick Lamar, and Five Seconds of Summer. Oakland is also close to shopping areas with various options like Great Lakes Crossing and downtown Rochester. If you are into recreation, check out the nearby Paint Creek Trail, the Clinton River Trail, and the Stony Creek Metro Park. In addition, there are OU-sponsored events such as Movie Nights at Imagine and on-campus drive-ins, as well as OU Night at Comerica Park. During the fall, Yates Cider Mill is a big destination for delicious cider and fresh donuts. Oakland University proudly boasts one of the lowest crime rates in Oakland County and the number one safest public university in Michigan, and the third nationally, partially due to the many safety features in use around campus. There are over 100 blue lights all across campus which will connect anyone directly to the OUPD dispatch. They also offer text message alerts that will send a notification directly to your phone in the event of an emergency situation on campus. Students and parents are both eligible to receive these and can enroll on OUPD's website. OUPD officers are on campus 24-7, 365 days a year. More than 3,000 students live on campus calling one of our residence halls or apartments home. Hamlin Hall houses first-year students, and Oakview Hall is the newest home to the Honors College. We are excited about the opening of our newest residence hall, Hillcrest Hall, which houses 750 students and has a new cafeteria and a satellite recreation center. We also offer special interest floors, which offer social and academic support. Student involvement plays a large role in the lives of our students. OU offers more than 300 student organizations including academic, social, Greek, 
political, and spiritual groups, the university regularly plans trips to fun places like New York City, Chicago, or Boston. Our Office for Student Involvement also offers discounted tickets to various events and performances throughout the Metro Detroit area. OU has 18 men's and women's varsity sports. OU competes in the NCAA Division I athletics as a part of the Horizon League. The Golden Grizzlies have brought home 28 regular season titles, 77 conference tournament titles, and have made 55 NCAA tournament appearances. For more information, please visit OUGrizzlies.com. At Oakland, we encourage students to live, study, or work within a different culture through more than 180 study abroad programs in over 40 countries. For example, our students studying a concentration in archaeology can travel to Israel to see historic and religious sites covered in class, participate in an archaeological dig, and conduct groundbreaking research. Oakland offers 140 undergraduate programs and more than 130 graduate and certificate programs. These are divided into several professional schools and one liberal arts and sciences college. Please refer to oakland.edu forward slash academics for more information. Whether you are deciding on a major or still exploring your options, the First Year Advising Center provides academic advising for all first year students, students who are undecided or redeciding their majors past their first year, as well as undecided transfer students. Your assigned advisor will introduce you to helpful resources and tools to assist you in developing a balanced schedule and making informed decisions about your major and your future career. The Honors College offers a unique environment for high-achieving students through smaller class sizes and special topic general education courses and gives graduating seniors the opportunity to complete a thesis in a topic of their choosing. Students with a 3.7 GPA or higher and a test score of a 1200 SAT or 25 ACT are automatically qualified for the Honors College. Those students who have above a 3.3 GPA and a test score of 1000 on the SAT must complete a separate application in addition to an interview for consideration. OU's Presidential Scholar Award recipients are automatically accepted into the Honors College. Of course, all undergraduate majors are welcome to apply to this challenging, unique environment for high-achieving students. This year, we were proud to say that we had a record-breaking entering class of 663 new Honors College students. The College of Arts and Sciences is comprised of a variety of academic departments devoted to teaching and researching liberal arts. This includes humanities, social sciences, visual and performing arts, and mathematical and laboratory sciences. The college offers nearly 100 majors in a wide range of diverse disciplines such as actuarial science, graphic design, biomedical sciences, cinema studies, criminal justice, environmental studies, international relations, social work, and world music, as well as more traditional disciplines such as chemistry, English, history, philosophy, and psychology to enhance and complement their primary focus. The Oakland University William Beaumont School of Medicine will welcome its 10th class in the fall of 2020. Students receive instruction in basic sciences and research at OU and take part in a clinical training in applied research at Beaumont Health Systems. The school is a member of an elite group, one of just 141 MD granting medical schools in the country. As I mentioned previously, Nursing Direct Admit is one of OU's academically competitive programs. A limited number of entering freshmen will be offered direct admission to the university's School of Nursing basic BSN track. Students interested in attending OU in the fall should apply by November 15th of their senior year to be considered for the direct admit nursing program. 
To be considered for OU's Business Honors Direct Admit program, you must gain admission and complete a supplemental application, although we recommend you have your application in by December 1st of your senior year in high school. As I mentioned earlier, students wishing to study in the Department of Music, Theater, and Dance must gain admission to the university, then apply for an audition with the the department. The school is accepting video auditions now through August 17th. You can register for an audition at oakland.edu forward slash smtd and see their audition information on the website. You will be sent virtual audition guidelines and students who are applying for the fall of 2021 can find audition dates online at oakland.edu forward slash smtd. I'd now like to walk you through the process of applying to Oakland University. Applying is easy and the application can be found online at oakland.edu forward slash apply. The application is free and we are currently accepting applications for winter, summer, and fall of 2020 and the fall of 2021 applications will be opening on July 1st. The average incoming freshman has a 3.5 GPA and a score of 1130 on the SAT or a score of a 25 on the ACT. Typically, OU will admit first-year students with a 2.5 cumulative grade point average. For the fall of 2020 and the fall of 2021, we have temporarily shifted to test optional admissions in light of the COVID-19 pandemic. SAT or ACT scores are not required for admissions consideration for the fall of 2020 and 2021. Students are still encouraged to send a test score if and when they have them for course placement or additional scholarship consideration. Our average incoming transfer student has a 3.1 GPA. Generally, transfer students with college credit and a 2.5 GPA or higher are admitted. Transfer students must submit all transcripts from every college they have attended. However, transfer students with fewer than 24 college credits must also submit their high school transcript. Scholarship consideration for OU is automatic. There is no separate application for merit scholarships. To receive fall scholarship consideration, We recommend incoming freshman students to apply and have all materials submitted to OU by March 1st of their senior year of high school. While scholarship consideration is based upon your cumulative grade point average and test score at the time of admission, students are welcome to submit updated transcripts and test scores to be reconsidered for scholarships. Transfers should apply by December 1st for winter scholarship consideration or August 1st for fall semester. Transfer scholarship consideration is also based upon the student's cumulative grade point average at the time of admissions. Please see the scholarships and grant information located on our website for more information. Currently, tuition is assessed based upon the class standing, the course, and course level. Differential tuition rates also apply to courses offered by the School of Health Sciences, School of Business Administration, School of Nursing, the School of Engineering and Computer Science, regardless of major. For more specific information and to view the rates by course and course level, please refer to oakland.edu forward slash tuition. University housing offers a variety of living options suited to your individual needs and interests. Housing rates and more information can be found online at oakland.edu forward slash housing. For all newly admitted students planning to attend OU, we encourage that you activate your accounts if you haven't already. Activating your account will allow you to choose your net ID, which will act as your OU email address. Activate your account today at oakland.edu forward slash activate. If you have been offered any merit scholarships, you will also want to go to oakland.edu forward slash scholar accept to accept them. Additionally, all incoming students are encouraged to register for new student orientation. 
Registration is available online at oakland.edu forward slash orientation to lock in your spot in our incoming class. These events will be held virtually throughout the summer on the dates that you are signing up for. For those students attending OU in the fall of 2020, application for housing is now available. Students may apply at oakland.edu forward slash housing forward slash apply. For those students starting OU in the winter of 2021, applications to live on campus will be available beginning November 1st. I would like to also stress the importance of the financial aid process. To be considered for financial aid, students must complete the FAFSA, the Free Application for Federal Student Aid. This form is available now and can be completed at fafsa.gov. That is F-A-F-S-A dot gov. Additionally, for those of you who have yet to take the SAT or for those still planning to retake the SAT and looking to improve their scores for scholarship consideration, we would like to remind you that Khan Academy offers free SAT prep for students. Khan Academy is a great resource if you're looking to continue on working towards improving your test scores and can be found at khanacademy.org. I want to encourage each of you to visit us virtually to learn even more about the application process. At this time, we will move on to the next presentation, and as a reminder, feel free to use the Q&A chat box to submit any questions you have throughout today. Don't forget, we will also have a panel at the end. Hello, and thank you for joining us today. My name is Carrie Gilchrist, and I'm a Senior Financial Aid Outreach Advisor with Student Financial Services. I'm happy to be here with you today to share some information about financial aid at Oakland University and answer any questions you might have. Today, I'll talk about costs to consider when attending college, how to apply for financial aid from a variety of sources, and the types of aid you'll be eligible to receive from Oakland University, the state and federal governments, as well as private resources. Please feel free to submit your questions during the presentation, and I'll take some time at the end to answer them for you. When attending college, there are many costs to consider. Oakland prides itself on being a fee-free institution, so the only billable charges you'll have are tuition and housing if you choose to live on campus. Even the laundry and the toilet paper and housing are free. You should also expect to have expenses related to your education, but not billed directly by Oakland University, such as books, living off campus or at home, transportation, and living expenses. When Student Financial Services is preparing your financial aid offer, we estimate these billable charges and non-billable expenses, then add them together to determine the cost of attendance. Financial aid is intended to provide you options to pay for your billable charges and help you pay for your non-billable expenses, so the cost of attendance is the maximum amount of financial aid you are offered. In order to pay for college, students can be eligible for financial aid, including scholarships, grants, work study, and loans. In order to apply for financial aid, students should complete the free application for federal student aid, also known as the FAFSA. Most financial aid requires the FAFSA, and when we say file early, we mean it. The FAFSA should be completed beginning October 1st or shortly thereafter of the student's senior year of high school. Some financial aid is offered on a first-come, first-served basis, one of the reasons we recommend filing the FAFSA when it becomes available October 1st to apply for the next school year. You can file the FAFSA electronically on fafsa.gov or using the My Student Aid app available for iOS and Android devices. If you have your phone or tablet handy, you can open your camera and point it at the QR code for whichever operating system you use. A banner will open where you can download the app. While there is a paper application for FAFSA, it's recommended you file electronically for a variety of reasons. Filing the FAFSA electronically is much faster to process. It takes just three to five days, and there are a number of security measures taken to ensure your information remains private, such as the data retrieval tool, which allows most users to upload their tax information right from the IRS website. The electronic FAFSA is also shorter and much more relevant to your household because it uses skip logic to eliminate questions that no longer apply to you based on the questions you already answered.
If you need help completing the FAFSA, Student Financial Services offers free, private appointments for anyone who needs help completing the application. Oakland University Undergraduate Admissions automatically awards OU merit-based scholarships through the admissions process, so no additional applications are required. Student Financial Services automatically awards our need-based grants when processing the FAFSA. Every student who qualifies for scholarships and grants is guaranteed to receive the award. We are not limited to the number of students who can receive the award. Annual departmental scholarships are also available through Oakland University Academic and Student Service Departments for application and selection beginning during the student's first year. Oakland University offers a number of need-based grants available to students who complete the FAFSA and meet certain eligibility criteria. The Golden Grizzlies Tuition Guarantee Grant is offered to first-time freshmen who are Michigan residents with an expected family contribution of less than $8,000 as determined by FAFSA. The award pays the remaining amount of tuition due after subtracting the amount of the expected family contribution and any other gift aid. This award is renewable for up to four years or eight semesters. The OU Golden Grant is awarded up to $5,000 per year and is renewable for up to four years or eight semesters. It's awarded to first-time freshmen who are Michigan residents with a high school GPA of 3.0 and an expected family contribution of less than $8,000. The OU Housing Grant is awarded up to $5,000 per year and is renewable for up to four years or eight semesters. It's awarded to first-time freshmen who are Michigan residents with a high school GPA of 3.0 and an expected family contribution of less than 8,000. Students who receive the housing grant must live on campus with housing charges for a full semester that are not covered by another housing award. Student employment is also available at OU and may be part of a student's financial aid offer if they receive a work-study grant. Work-study and non-work-study positions are available at OU, and the university employs about 1,600 employees each year. Students are paid at least minimum wage, however, some positions pay more. Students are limited to a maximum of 25 hours per week during the fall and winter semesters. Students can work up to 40 hours per week when classes are not in session and during the summer semester. On-campus and local jobs are posted on OU Handshake, a platform that will grow with the student over time. Students can use Handshake to also apply for internships in their later years at OU, as well as professional positions when they graduate. The federal government offers financial aid to students, including grants, work-study, student and parent loans. Some grants are offered on a first-come, first-served basis, like the SEOG and work-study grants. One of the reasons it's important to complete the FAFSA as soon as it's available on October 1st. The federal government also offers student loans awarded to the student in the student's name only. Parents are not co-signers for federal loans. The subsidized loan is interest-free while the student is in school, and the unsubsidized loan accrues interest while the student is in school. Neither loan requires payment until the six months after graduation. However, there is no penalty for early repayment. A Parent PLUS loan may also be offered to parents to borrow in their own name. It's a creditworthy loan, so if you're approved and want to use it, you can, but if you're denied, your student gets an additional amount of an unsubsidized loan in their own name. It's an opportunity to receive additional federal aid without going to a bank or a private lender, which is often more expensive option for a student. The state of Michigan also provides financial aid to students and requires the FAFSA be completed no later than March 1st in the student's senior year. The Michigan Competitive Scholarship is awarded automatically to students who complete the FAFSA and achieve a 1200 or better on the SAT. The other awards offered by the state require an application, which is available through the MISSG student account. Students can create their MISSG student account after they file their first FAFSA. Private scholarships are also available through organizations, foundations, and companies, and students are encouraged to begin applying for those scholarships in the junior year. Students should apply regularly until they graduate from college to increase their chance of receiving a greater number of scholarships. College Board, FastWeb, and GoodCall.com are some of the many scholarship search engines students can use to apply for private scholarships. 
It's also a great idea to check with the high school counseling office for local scholarships aimed at students in that school or community. Some students may also have personal resources like MET, MESP, or other college savings plans to help them pay for their education expenses. OU is proud to offer payment plans for students who choose to pay all or a portion of their charges on their own. Payment plans are available each semester a student attends to divide payments into four equal installments. Payment plans are interest-free and students can easily pay with a checking or savings account. Credit and debit cards are also accepted and students are encouraged to schedule their payments to pay automatically each month. I hope you feel better prepared for the costs associated with college and more familiar with the financial aid available to you. To prepare for paying for college, there are a few things you can do even now. If you'd like to learn more about the financial aid process, please join me for a virtual financial aid presentation. Visit oakland.edu slash financial events for the schedule and link to join. Students and parents can visit studentaid.gov to create an FSA ID necessary to access and complete the FAFSA. Make sure you apply for private scholarships regularly to increase the number of scholarships you will use to pay for your education. Finally, make sure you file the FAFSA beginning October 1st of your senior year and every year thereafter. If you have questions after today, please contact Student Financial Services to speak with an advisor. We are open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and are currently taking phone calls remotely. You can also visit our website at oakland.edu slash financial services where all the information in this presentation is also available. You're also welcome to email our office at finservices at oakland.edu. Thank you again for attending our virtual Go for the Gold event today. I'm happy to answer any questions you may have. Let's learn about women and gender studies from Dr. Amy Harbin. Welcome. This is a presentation about women and gender studies at Oakland University. And I want to tell you a little bit about what we study in our program, what some of our degree options are, um, what some of our students go on to do with their degrees, and ways to get in touch. So if you're interested in issues related to diversity, to gender, to sexuality, to race, or to disability, you might be interested in women and gender studies. In general, the focus of women and gender studies is thinking about the importance of diversity in our current world, both in the U.S. and globally. At Oakland University, we offer the following degree options. We have a major in women and gender studies, a minor in women and gender studies, and a brand new minor in LGBTQ studies. You might be wondering what people go on to do with a women and gender studies degree. What we find is that students come in and they often take our introduction to women and gender studies course and they find that they're completely in love with the material. Many people didn't know in high school what women and gender studies was, but they come into Oakland and take that intro WGS class and they find that they love thinking about gender and race and sexuality and all these issues. And so they go on to take one of our degrees. And our alumni have gone on to do amazing work following their, their time at OU. We have alums who are workers at domestic violence shelters. We have counselors, lawyers, juvenile probation officers. We have people who've gone on to grad school in sociology and psychology and even in women and gender studies. One of our alums is a director of admissions and marketing at a K-8 school. Others are working with community organizations for LGBTQ rights, voter rights, food justice. We even have one of our alums who is a professor of criminal justice back at Oakland. Um, so there's lots of things you can do with a women and gender studies degree. What we say is that it gives you a lens for thinking about diversity, the importance of gender, the importance of race, the importance of sexuality all throughout the world. So really any organization that's paying attention to these things, which should be all businesses and all organizations, um, graduates of our program would be good fits there. Some of the things we're especially proud of in our program is that it's a relatively small program. We have a small major and minor, which means that the faculty here know all of our students. We know exactly what you're interested in, and we are looking out for you, happy to write reference letters, excited to see um, you placed in good careers after our program. We have excellent faculty from across the university and a real focus on mentorship for our students. 
We have a couple of things that really help our students succeed, which is, one of which is the internship for all women and gender studies majors and for all LGBTQ studies minors. So this means that we place you in an organization related to your interests out in the community, um, and you do an internship there. And it, in fact, we've seen a number of our graduates go on to get paid work at these organizations um, because of these internships. We also have an independent capstone project for all women and gender studies majors where you develop a project on something that interests you in particular and you work with a faculty member to write a, a research paper on that project. And this is really helpful, looks great on a resume if you're thinking of going into a field involving any research or writing or even on to grad school. You can see some of what our alums have said about the program. Um, Victoria Martinuzzi in 2010 said, My experience at OU has taught me to be a strong, confident, and independent career woman. WGS opened my eyes to the struggles that women, children, and men face every day. So if you're interested in these areas, I would really encourage you to reach out to me. My name is Amy Harbin. I'm the Director of Women and Gender Studies. My email address is aharbin at oakland.edu, and I would be happy to talk to you further. Let's learn more about our Religious Studies program from Dr. Henry Gorin, Director of the program and Anthropology Professor at Oakland University. I'm Henry Gorin. I teach anthropology and I'm also the director of religious studies. Um, check out our website, oakland.edu slash religious studies. Uh, if you're interested in religion, you definitely want to check out religious studies because we look at religion from an academic perspective. Whatever your career is, you're probably going to be dealing with uh, people from different religious backgrounds. So it's important to know a little bit about uh, the main world religions. Um, if you look at our website, again, oakland.edu slash religious studies, you'll see a brochure of all the classes we're offering. We offer Introduction to Religion, World Religious Traditions, and we also offer classes like Introduction to Islam, Introduction to Judaism, and Introduction to Christianity. If you take five of our classes, 20 credits, you already have enough for a minor. We have minors in Christianity Studies, Judaic Studies, and Islamic Studies. If you want to take some more, um, for uh, 28 credits, you already have enough for a concentration. And then you can do the whole independent major, which is 32 credits. So uh, again, if you're thinking about that, look at our website, uh, uh, oakland.edu slash religious studies. Think about the classes we're offering. Um, if you're interested in religion or if your career makes it very important to know about religions. We've noticed over the years that many students are interested in religion, whether they're religious themselves or not at all, there is a huge interest. Uh, but there's also a lack of knowledge, and that's fine because that's why you're in college. So again, we encourage people to take our classes, whether our introduction classes or our upper level classes. Again, check out our website, oakland.edu slash religious studies, where you'll find brochures of all the classes we're offering both in fall 2020 and winter 2021. Um, and you can email me if you have more questions. Uh, Henry Gorin, last name Gorin, G-O-O-R-E-N, at oglum.edu. Thanks very much. On behalf of the department chair, Joe Rieger, the director of social work, Maria Beam, and myself, the associate chair of the department, George Sanders, we'd like to welcome you to the Department of Sociology, Anthropology, Social Work, and Criminal Justice. Our department offers four different majors, sociology, or the scientific study of society and its institutions, anthropology, which tends to focus on historical and global societal patterns, social work and applied social science oriented around advocating for and helping individuals and groups, and criminal justice, the study of criminal offending, victimization, and processing of offenders by the criminal justice system. Students often major in one of those four areas and then get a minor in another. We offer additional minors and concentrations that we believe help students who wish to hone in on a more specific area so that they can refine their skills and understanding. Within three of our disciplines, students can either choose a standalone major or a major with a concentration. 
As you can see, there are a wide variety of concentrations to select from. We're particularly excited about our GIS, or Geographic Information System Mapping Minor, that it's in the works, and our forthcoming Masters of Social Work degree program. We're uniquely positioned within the university because of our interdisciplinary approach to social sciences. While each of our disciplines have different labels, we're in fact very much intertwined with one another. All of us are very interested in the ways individuals can make a difference in the world, whether it's in the immediate area, in local communities, or around the globe. Thus, it's not surprising we all share a vision of creating more diverse and inclusive societies. We don't just want our students to understand the roots of inequality. We want to equip them with the tools they need to work towards social justice in our rapidly evolving and increasingly diverse society. We provide many opportunities to engage, serve, and work both on and off campus. Many of our students earn course credits by interning with a wide variety of our community partners. There are additional opportunities to work closely with our faculty through independent studies. And a number of our students also work with professors on faculty research. Others serve as teaching apprentices in classes. And for our archaeology students, there is a field school in which they can participate. Additionally, we're continuously developing new programs and opportunities for our students. We're an outward-facing department, and we work actively in the campus community as well as communities outside of our campus. We have a lot of opportunities, and just to name a few, there are the Pontiac Oral History Project, study abroad opportunities, our newly developed food pantry, and of course, any one of our student clubs or honor societies. Our students go on to succeed in a variety of fields, though most either work in the human services or they go on to pursue a graduate degree. But as you can see from this list, they find employment in an incredibly diverse array of occupations. Many of those jobs are rapidly growing, and there is a high demand for OU grads. Each of our four core disciplines have a designated advisor. They are there to answer questions not only about the kinds of classes to take, but they assist with scheduling to ensure an efficient path toward graduation. They also provide one-on-one -on -one assistance by connecting students with various opportunities to become active in student organizations, professional organizations, and finding different opportunities to meet and socialize with other students and faculty. While each of our four advisors work on the front line to provide guidance for students, all of us in the department are open to your questions, to student mentoring, and supporting our students in any way we can. We pride ourselves in our friendly and approachable style, and we're all highly dedicated to promoting student success in whatever paths those students choose to follow. We invite you to explore our department's website for additional details, or feel free to reach out to one of our four advisors or, indeed, any of our faculty members in the department. We look forward to working with you in the new academic year. Thank you.